Professor here, welcome back to Shave Up. Um, I wasn't thinking it was, well, I was thinking I was going to get the video done, and then I wasn't, but I found a few seconds to get this done. This is going to be part two of my How to Grow, what is it, my mustache video series. Um, but yeah, it's been a week, week and a half since I shaved, and I've changed my camera location because stuff has been moved from the counter. I wish I had some light over here now that I'm looking at the video. But let's get going because I don't have a lot of time because kids are kids. <laughs> Alright, so that's re-wetting the face, but I already made the lather, and so after you've had your mustache growing, you need to maintain it, and that involves shaving, <laughs> that's part of it. I'm not going to do the whole shave, if you want to see like a whole beard off and stuff or whatever. I have other videos. Today's lather is Barrister and Mad Lather sent to Taiga. And got the uh, Omega Art 48 shaving brush. And my Cloak and Dagger Men shavette with a Parker Premium Platinum Blade in it. Yes. So, one thing I'd suggest doing first is clearing off around your mustache. Kind of like Geo Fat Boys clear the runways. But, you really need to see where your mustache is. First time I shaved after my last video, I think this is actually only the second time I've shaved <laughs> since that video, um, I almost started getting into the hairs I want. So you need to shave, but you need to be careful about where your mustache is and not cut into your mustache. Um, with a straight razor or shave it, sometimes that can be really easy because they cut really easy. Uh, so I'm actually going to start with my mustache. And where do I want it? Right there. But you need to maintain where your mustache is. And the best way is to start with your mustache and then go with the uh, rest of your shaving routine. Let's see. All right. So, right around there is nice and clean. And the rest of the video is going to take place after I'm done shaving. So, go ahead and I'll be right back. For you, it's just a half a second for me. <laughs> it's a couple minutes, so I'll be back. I just finished shaving. I just did one pass. I did get a couple nicks because I wasn't being too careful. Um, so, shaping the mustache. Also, like if you want to have like a really Thin pen pencil mustache, you can come in from the top with your straight razor or shave at and really thin it down. Um, or you can use trimmers. Uh, if you're, however you're doing your mustache, if you're doing um, like the, I, I forget what this one's called. Uh, what I used to think was a handlebar mustache because it looked like handlebars on a chopper, you know, kind of like Gorilla Grip chopper. But motorcycle chopper. Um, I have to find. But also, you know, keeping the length with trimmers, um, like I have my barber trimmers. I haven't styled my hair yet at all today. Um, or you can get just get those ones that are like four mustaches that have their own little clipper guards for your mustache. You can even use regular clippers like you would for buzzing your head. Just throw on a guard and... Um, I 
I was planning on just not cutting or trimming this at all um, and seeing how that works but my wife has asked that I trim it because it's a little uneven and also she gets a, a nose full of uh, mustache when I kiss her. Uh, another thing you want to do to maintain your mustache is beard balm or beard oil, either one. Pretty cheap. Or you can make your own. Really simple. Again, this one's just coconut oil, almond oil, and lemon scent. Um, I have my mustache comb, which I, it's upstairs, but I made a video on that. And I can't find my regular comb. But, combing your mustache, um, and all that good stuff, keeps it looking nice. Um, also, combing it really helps get the uh, beard balm all the way through your mustache, especially if it's starting to get real bushy and stuff like mine. Um, but, I am going to trim my mustache a little bit today. Partially because my wife asked me to. Also partially because it's a little bit uneven. Like this side's growing out a little bit longer. Um, I really didn't want to trim it, but I don't have mustache wax yet. That's coming on Wednesday. Today is Sunday. If I'd already had mustache wax or ordered it earlier, I might not be trimming it right now. But do what's working for you and your partner with this. Let me see her. Sometimes you've got to do a little bit of uh, hand yoga. Shaving yoga, barber yoga, whatever. Or, again, use trimmers, but I did not want to get my trimmers out. These will help. Yeah. In the past, when I had just a goatee, I did trim it and keep it fairly short. But, again, this experiment or challenge or whatever, I want it long. Because I want, ideally, even the center of my mustache to be curling, going along into the curl of the handlebar. Right now, I've got kind of the... Uh, cop mustache going on. And a lot of my mustache seems to go straight out, so... <laughs> like, especially up here, it's really growing straight out. But I don't want to cut that. Mainly for me, I don't want to cut it because it's on the top and I want the top to be kind of longer. I don't know, it's just how I want it to be, but it is sticking pretty much straight out, so. Um. <laughs> and if it's your first time trimming your mustache with scissors, or even trimmers, take it slow, a little bit at a time. Um, and then as you have done it more, then you can kind of go straight to where you want it to be. But, I'm thinking that's where I want it to be. Um, 
So I mentioned beard balm, trimmers, scissors, trimming the mustache, keeping it defined and not going too far in. Um, well, yeah. Uh, you can even use like conditioner. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's like beard conditioners out there, and there are beard soaps for sure. So if you want those, you can go and get a soap that is more designed for facial hair. Um, I would like to one day make a soap for that. Not there yet. <laughs> but once I do, I will let you all know. Um, but yeah, you can use even regular hair conditioner. Put it on there real quick. Um, beard balms, beard oils, mustache wax, which I am getting. And... Yeah, I think this is going to be probably just a three-part one, so the next one's not going to be for a little while. I don't think, I don't plan on being it for a little while. Could be four parts, but we will see. And... Uh, hair shears are so much fun. It's funny. Tangent time. In the barber exam, you cannot hold your scissors like this. Like when you're, you know, you're cutting and you comb or whatever. You cannot put them down like this. I've even seen some people go like way out there. But, this, at least in Cal, Utah. <laughs> Utah, you cannot do like this. You have to palm them like this. I personally think that this is more dangerous even because I feel like I'm gonna stab them or me so I just did this for the barber exam to get through with it and I do it like this whenever I'm cutting hair with scissors cool tangent over um, so yeah for maintaining your mustache keep it done um, I don't really have any stragglers I could define the out the upper limit of my mustache a little bit because I do have like a hair or two here and there that's kind of a little bit higher and you know you just bring it in um, but then yeah just take the shavette or straight razors are the easiest way or trimmers I would say are the three easiest methods to define the outline um, the multi-blade cartridge razors are really difficult but a lot of them do have that single blade on the back but not mine I did not buy this, but a lot of them have a single blade back here, which are easier to do. Um, but this side, you can't get very much detail. Um, even a lot of safety razors, double edged especially, probably single edged a little bit less. Um, a little bit harder to really kind of define because you can't really see where you're going. But my preference is the straight razor and safety razor because they're so much fun to use. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it there. That's all I can really think of doing and talking about for this episode of maintaining it. Yep. Maintain the beard oil, beard balm. Yep. If I keep going, I'm just going to start repeating myself. So. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, avoid that as much as can. You guys know me. All right, so at least some of you do. Um, thank you for watching. Do what works for you in maintaining your mustache for your comfort and desires and your partner's comfort and desires or whatever it may be. But again, thanks for watching. Have a great day and shave up.